Sam Presti holds his annual preseason news conference to discuss the opening of Thunder training camp on Friday, September 22, 2017 in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Photo by Steve Sisney, the Oklahoman since Carmelo Anthony's eyebrow-raising exit interview and Thunder general manager Sam Presti's response, has anything changed? Anthony is set to make a lot of money. The Thunder would be okay with paying him that money if he fits into the role it wants him to play. With one day until a big decision for Anthony and the Thunder, Presti said the two sides have been in touch, but there are still uncertainties about Anthony's status for next. We've had several conversations with his representation and that's pretty normal course, Presti said at the Thunder's post-draft press conference late Thursday. I wish I could tell you a whole lot has changed since the end of the we're still in June, and the doesn't start until October, so we'll continue to have that dialogue going forward. After the Thunder's first round playoff exit, Anthony was adamant that he wasnt coming back to Oklahoma City in the same role as last, saying he didnt think he could be effective as that type of player. It's something I really have to think about, if I really want to be this type of player, finish out my career as this type of player, knowing that I have so much left in the tank, and I bring so much to the game of basketball, Anthony said. Anthony has until Saturday to exercise the early termination option in his contract. If he did, he would become a free agent and leave the final guaranteed year of his deal and $27.9 million on the table. If Anthony does nothing, HES guaranteed that salary for next. A buyout for a smaller number of the entire sum could be negotiated, as well, which would make Anthony a free agent. A group of forwards such as Indiana's Thaddeus Young $13.7 million, San Antonio's Rudy Gay $8.8 million and New York's Kyle O'Quinn $4.2 million have either reportedly declined 2018-19 player options or will do so before the June 29 deadline. Yet, none of those players has as much single-season salary on the line as Anthony. If the Thunder was to re-sign Paul George in free agency and keep Anthony, the salaries would push the Thunder well past the projected $123 million luxury tax line. The Thunder would project to be $24 million over the line, and that's before potentially re-signing free agents like Jeremy Grant, Raymond Felton, Josh Hustis or Corey Brewer.